what we aim today is to develop a model in Abacus which is going to show us the behavior of a mass spring model with one degree of freedom therefore and uh, this mass we are going to displace by a certain amount uh, from the equilibrium position and then we will release the mass and the mass will vibrate we are going to include dumping and then we are going to see this motion to die away as time pass by by now you should be already a bit acquainted with the menu in abacus so then we are going to create a model here create a model we are going to give a, a name so say spring mass dumping and uh, we are going now to create the first thing we are going to create so there are all the models here o r under this one gl dot c a e I'm going to save now this model uh, so i'm going to to open spring mass dumping okay and i'm going to create a part which is the first step to uh, attribute a mass to this part so this part is going to be only a point okay so we are going to call it uh, mass or moving mass uh, let's keep it only as mass 2d a wire a point actually and a discrete rigid okay and a point here so we continue and the coordinates of this mass we are going to set a zero for x and zero for y okay so we give an enter and that's the rigid point to this rigid point we are going to associate it now a mass okay on engineering features that's the inertia of the mass uh we are going to we can call inertia of mass continue and then we need to choose this rigid point done and the value is say one kilo okay no inertia now only mass okay so that's created and then uh, uh, the mass is there now we can close this little menu of part and then we go to assembly okay and then we instance this this mass so this mass is here okay and also we go in tools and we created the reference point which is a point to which the spring is going to connect uh to make the connection between the mass and this reference point i'm creating now the coordinates are going to be zero and say uh, 100 millimeters e. and then i'm i'm using s i units okay 100 millimeters is 100 e minus three meters so i fit the in the window the two points so here is the mass and here is the point where i'm going to connect the spring so then uh, i'm going in engineering within assembly i'm going in engineering features and then i click spring dashboards so i can call this spring okay connecting two points continue and then the first point is going to be this the second point is going to be this done uh, the stiffness we set to 39.9 would be any any value and the dash coefficient uh, which is the ratio between force and velocity let's start with one to see whether this will give uh, good uh, results for us so that's okay so 
in, we should follow as, as, as much as possible this menu here in module. So we did part, property we skip it, then we did the same, now we go for a step, okay? And then on step, we are going to create, that is the initial step created already by Abacus, and then we are going to create a step which we are going to call displace. That means we are going to displace the mass by a given amount, and then we are going to use dynamic explicit, continue, and then we are going to, to do this displace in, say, 0 0.1 seconds, non-linear linear geometry is going to be on. The incrementation, we are going to set a fixed user-defined time increment of, say, 1 e minus 2. That's okay, this place. And then we are going to create another step, which is going to be, say, release. We are going to release the mass. Again, dynamic explicit, continue. Uh, incrementation time period. Uh, well, we can set two seconds. Incrementation uh, fixed. Use the finite increment one e minus two. Okay. Uh, so then we can dismiss this. Uh, so then the assembly is done. The step is done. Okay. Interaction we don't need load. There is no load as, as force, for instance, because we are just displacing, applying an initial condition to the problem. But we need to define the boundary conditions. Okay. Well, the first uh, obvious boundary condition is this RP1 must be fixed all the time. So let's create it. And let's anchor straight on the step uh, initial. Uh, continue, then we choose the region here, that one, done, anchor stray, okay. And this boundary condition is created on the initial step and then is going to propagate it. That means all the time on the step displace and on the step release is going to be presented, okay. Uh, let's create another boundary condition, which is going to be the displace we are going to give to the mass. So this is going to occur on this step, displace. It's a mechanical, a displacement, continue. Let's choose here, RP, done. And that displace this U2 by, say, 10 millimeters, and E minus 3. Uh, so, we need now to attribute it, uh, the way we wanted these 10 millimeters to be applied. Okay, for that we created the amplitude, one, tabular, continue, for times zero, the amplitude is going to be zero, for time one, E minus 1.1, né? for time 0.1, say for time, yeah, can be 0.1. Okay, what? The amplitude is going to be 1. And this is going to be as a reference. Uh, and on the step time, this is going to be a reference to which the initial displacement we set in the boundary condition is going to be multiplied by. Okay. Uh, so then that's uh, okay. This is amplitude one. And this is okay. And then here is going to be created, but here is going to be deactivated because we wanted to create this 10 millimeters displacement 
on this step but then let it go after okay so this is created um, mesh we don't need optimization we don't need we can we could j jump to job to run but i'm going to create it here a field output okay to do to output at every um, at every one e minus two seconds i'm going to output i don't need this i can output only translations okay i don't need that i don't need that i don't need that i don't need that and i don't need that okay uh so this the domain is the whole model uh, okay timing okay oh well actually on this output one or oh, is on the step this place also we are going to created another one on the step release release continue uh, every one e minus two translation here okay okay so then we have already it seems always ready for, to run. Let's save the model. And then let's go to job menu. Let's delete this. Let's delete this. And let's create now we are on spring mass dumping model. Né? So create spring mass dumping model. Uh, spring mass dumping continue okay and submit then we we waited now the job is being is running now and then let's see what we'll get Uh, Why the job is running, we could check by clicking here on monitor. We could check in which step the job is now. So I'm going to click monitor. I'm going to open the whole window. I'm going to put a bit down here. Okay, these are the warnings and output, data file, message file, and so on. Here are the increments and the step. I am already on step two. Okay. Um, this is the total time. We go up to two seconds, if I'm not wrong. Né? And then it's going to finish here. No. Pass a little bit. 2.1. 2.2. Two increments. So it's done now. Yeah. I'm going to close here and then I'm going to see so the job is completed and then I'm going to see the results on the results here I could see uh, if I do it like this I could see the dumper here the spring and the mass I can go on plot And view or the blade display options uh, the entity display I'm going to show mass inertia elements I'm going to make it a bit big apply so the mass is there let's increase a little bit apply okay okay and I can set it in motion uh, by time history here okay the mass is 
is moving, I could go while it's fast already, I could go swing, apply. Okay, so I see here the mass moving with a small amplitude, but that's what we set. And then uh, I could uh, stop for now. That's the magnitude. So then I'm going to create, let me close here. Delete. Yes. Let's create XY data from the field output. Continue. Unique nodal displacement U2. The what we want does we can get the node set mass, uh, and then we can plot. Okay. This means. And then that's the result. We see the increase up to one millimeter of initial displacement. Okay, this is millimeter. Then it's going moving up and down, up and down with dumping. Né? So it's going decreasing the amplitude. And as I move on on time, this motion is going to die away. So I hope this gives a good overview to you how to set a model for a mass spring model with uh, dump with dumping and uh, subjected to an initial displacement thank you very much